Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at how to add an element at the root level of your document versus having to house it within a section or another layout container. So first things first, let's go ahead and look at the default state of things. So if I go start from scratch, I have a section and I have a row and I can add columns. And so now I have a section, I have an outer row and then I have one column and two columns. But what if I want to add a slider or a div or something else down here and really I don't need all this extra markup of a section and of a row so a typical way that you might do this is come in here add a section add a single column then grab your slider element pop that slider right in here and now we have our slider and this totally works and I've used this on builds before but as I mentioned there's quite a bit of unnecessary markup here we have a section container then within that section container we have a row and then within that row we have a single column and then within that column we have a slider container and then we have a content wrapper and then we have another slide container and then we have all of our slides so how do we skip over the section and the column which really aren't necessary to this slider since it already has some of its own containers well let's go ahead and delete that and take a look at this if we jump into our outline pane here you'll notice it says add section but if I hold down the command or the control key, you'll notice that add section turns into add element. And if I click on that, I now get my elements pane here directly in my outline. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in slider and I'm going to add that same inline slider directly to my outline tab. Now I have my slider here and the only thing that is there. And the only thing that is there is what is necessary. And the only things that are pulled through are the things that are necessary to build my slider. No arbitrary outer containers like a section, a row, or a column for this use case. And this can be used across the board. We could come over here, hold down the command or the control key, click add element, and we could add a div. And so we have a div container here where we now can work in a raw environment. If we want that div container to still respect our global sizing, we can simply click on it, scroll down, to size and under global container check that box and now it's respecting the size but we don't have a section a row a column and then a div we can just start with our div as always i hope you guys find these videos useful and i will see you guys in the next video